Greetings, friends, and welcome to the Make the Best Choice channel. I'm your host, Dan V. Thanks for tuning in. I've got an introductory video here for a brand new radio from Radtel. This is a typical, in many ways, walkie-talkie for VHF, UHF, and the ham bands and beyond. It will receive the AM VHF air band, but it's got something extra that's brand new. Now, many of you are familiar with the Quan Shang radios, walkie-talkies, which you could add a board with some ICs on it and other hardware, and you could increase the range, the receive range of the Quan Shang radios to long wave, medium wave, and short wave. Well, Radtel has beat Quan Shang to the, to the game here in that they've already make, started making a radio that has all that built in. So this radio will receive from long wave, medium wave, short wave, all the way up to almost one gigahertz. Right now we're on 10 meters, 28054 or so. I think there's a fellow working POTA here on 10 meters on CW. One of the amazing things is the fact that the antenna I'm using is a collapsible whip. One of the features of this Radtel RT860 is it's got an SMA connector for the short wave, medium wave, and long wave. And I'll, that's all I'm using, a 28 inch, 28, nine inch collapsible whip antenna. I'll put it all the way down. I'm still receiving something I'm using as myself as the antenna. I'll put the whip back up and let's bring it out here so you can see it. Let's put the whip back up so we can get back to receiving things. And now it's extended to the full 28 inches. This radio does not come with the collapsible whip. As far as I know, Radtel doesn't sell it as an accessory. However, uh, they are available on Amazon. I had some in stock. They have an, uh, an SMA connector on one end, and as I said, the 28-inch well belt whip on the other. And that's all I'm using to receive here on 10 meters CW is that 28-inch whip. Amazingly, this radio receives very well on medium wave, on the AM medium wave band. Let me just switch there, and to switch bands, when you're in the short wave, medium wave mode, you actually press the pound key, and then it will uh, hold the pound key there. It just switched to CW, as you, as you saw with the short key. Let's go to 1500, which is a local Washington. AM station. Again, I'm North. indoors, <laughs> and the only antenna we're using is this what collapsible whip. I don't have a ferrite loop. I don't have any kind of loop. We're receiving this 1500 kilohertz federal news network here in the Maryland DC area on the collapsible whip. So the sensitivity on AM is excellent. The sensitivity on shortwave is excellent. However, there are some issues with this radio. I found some bugs. Uh, one of them is a programming issue where they didn't program six kilohertz bandwidth for AM. So we're actually listening to this on four kilohertz bandwidth. They need to make that change to six kilohertz when on AM. Very, very important for them to do that. There's a, a couple other bugs where if you push the key a certain way, it'll dump out of the shortwave band and back to VHF, UHF. But totally amazing to me that this radio can do so much for only 50 bucks. Again, I don't recommend running out and buying one right now. It would be good if Radtel can resolve some of these issues. Very typical first time out with a new product that you might have these things slip by. But it is a great buy. It's something you might consider in the future. It'll be competing with the Quan Sheng. As many of you know, the Quan Sheng is coming out with a new radio. You don't have to install a board and mod the radio. The Quan Sheng handheld, it's already built to receive uh, broadband from long wave. And I believe they're saying up to 1.2 gigahertz. It'll be interesting to see how that radio works. But it doesn't have a good antenna connection like this one does. It doesn't have the SMA. Very, very important. Makes things a lot easier and a lot better with an SMA connector. Let's just toggle up here uh, the rest of the short wave, medium wave, long wave bands. Long wave is going to be very noisy. Okay, now uh, we switch to, okay, back to the normal mode. You'll see there what it should have done. It switched briefly. That's a good illustration of the problem. It switched briefly from uh, the shortwave, medium, longwave bands to back to the normal VHF, UHF, and it shouldn't have done that. So a long press should take us, yeah, that's longwave. 
noisy, of course, inside the house again here. Here's FM. The audio's not too bad. It's not too bad. And there we are. We're back on 20 meters. So again, fantastic radio for the price. It has got some issues. You might want to wait before you run out and buy one. Just wanted to make this quick video to introduce the radio to you and let you know that this is going to set off hopefully some good competition between the Chinese radio makers to give us amazing features at their typically amazing price. Take care. Thanks for watching today. Please like and subscribe so I can keep getting this information out to you on the Make the Best Choice channel. God bless. Bye-bye.